Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an ivory soap cloud. So how to turn this into this. And then I'm gonna completely destroy it afterwards. So the property that makes this a really interesting soap to put in the microwave is that it has so much air in it. And you can see how much air is in this soap when you put it in some water. See how it floats? So there's a lot of air mixed into their soap. In fact, I read that it was by accident that they mixed in too much air and they found that it would float on water and they thought that would be a good marketing scheme. So ivory soap has a lot of air in it and that's what gives it these cool properties in that it can float in water and also it expands when it heats up in the microwave. Okay, here goes our ivory soap in the microwave. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> it's growing. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Wow, I had never done this before. It just grows. So what's happening here is that ivory soap has a lot of air in it and that air, as soon as it gets hot, starts to expand and the soap is melting so the gas just expands and it just grows. Whoa. That's getting huge. Wow. Wow, it's amazing how much is in there. Look at that. <laughs> wow. I don't know when to stop it, I don't know when it's done, but it looks like it's still growing. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna stop it, I don't see it growing anymore. Okay, here is our ivory soap. Wow. Feels like paper weird <laughs> that's awesome okay I'm gonna let it cool a second so I don't get burned so now that I've made my ivory soap cloud I'm going to destroy it so I'm going to crush this in my hydraulic press but before I do that I wanted to put it in my vacuum chamber because I know I'm going to get a lot of requests to say why didn't you put it in your vacuum chamber because this is very puffy and a lot of air in it so it's also very brittle, so I don't know if it will actually puff up or do anything in the vacuum chamber. So let's give it a try in the vacuum chamber and then we'll crush it in the hydraulic press. All right, I had to break a little corner off, but I now got it to fit in my vacuum chamber. So let's see what happens when we vacuum all the air out of the chamber. So this is really puffy and it has a lot of air inside, but because it's brittle, I'm not sure it will actually do anything. The air might just escape out of the small holes and still leave the structure there. But when we let the air back in, maybe it could crush it. So let's see what happens here. Okay, ivory soap cloud in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Is it getting any bigger? Doesn't look like it's actually doing anything. We're at about half an atmosphere. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the vacuum. Okay, so I have let it sit here for a while with my maximum vacuum. And so the inside, any air bubbles that were in there should be out by now. And so it should just be a vacuum inside of this puffy stuff here. So when I let in the air, 
We'll see if it actually crushes it back down because it comes in quite fast. Litting in the air on an ivory soap cloud. Three, two, one. I went down a little bit. Not much though, not a huge change. Okay, well good, because I really wanted to crush it in my hydraulic press. Okay, crushing an ivory soap cloud. Three, two, one. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> huh. That is some hard soap on the top there. So this is what it became. These flakes. You can see the texture of this. It's just really crumbly. Kind of feels like a croissant or something, a soap croissant. There you go. That's what an ivory soap cloud looks like getting crushed by a hydraulic press. Pretty cool. I think I can gather this up and still wash myself with it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you liked it. If you did and you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe. And you can comment in the comments section with what you'd like to see me do next time. Any cool experiments, any questions you have. Anything you'd like to see me put in my hydraulic press or my vacuum chamber or whatever else cool you'd like to see me do, let me know and I'll see you next time.